Hi, this is Kimberly with My Craft Spot, and today we're going to make this um, Gun Valentine card. Kiss me. I haven't finished gluing all the stuff on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make that card, and I first wanted to show you on my Gypsy um, how I had laid it out like this, and then I put another layer, divided out all the parts for, um, for cutting. So this is where I'm going to cut my black paper. This is my two white pieces and my red heart. And the white piece, that's the square, just goes, um, just goes inside the card. Okay. And then I want to show you this scallop is actually uh, one that I've made on my my gypsy. So I'm going to zoom in. And show you that I started out with I started out with a, a square from the George cartridge, and then I added these little um, loop things from it's from Home Accents, and it's just this this one right here. Okay. Too many, and I just welded them all together. We'll zoom in on the border a little. I just welded them together so that they formed that little loop, and then I didn't have to have a punch to do that. I just cut that out on my gypsy. So super simple. And um, I do have a video showing how to do borders on the gypsy. If you want to watch that, I did it exactly the same, just with a different uh, size. All right, and this just comes from the sweetheart. It's on my gypsy. It's 3.98 inches high, and the kiss me is also from the sweetheart, and it's 1.47 inches high. And then the heart also comes from the sweetheart, and it's 2.77. So there you have the layout. Let's put that aside, and let's get started on this card. Okay, now. On this one, I decided to run it through my cattle bag. It's just the this swirly one, and to add a little bit of um, you know, dimension and, and fun stuff to it. And then the heart, and the kiss me, and the couple, and that's all fun the way it was. But I decided to go ahead and add some fun flock. It's a ladybug from Martha Stewart. I guess it's flocking powder. And we will go ahead and get started with that first. Yeah, I have my paper here, and I usually use a sticker machine, but I thought this time I would just use my Elmer's stop looking adhesive tape runner, so that if you don't have one, you can realize that, at least on smaller pieces, that, you know, it's just not that big of a deal. You can just, for a couple of dollars, go buy one of these at Walmart or grab it from your stash and, and be able to, to do that pretty easily. This fun flock is a lot of fun. I don't like using it with liquid glue though on big areas because it clumps. But this uh it's a little like So you just make sure that every single bit of it is completely covered. And we're gonna go ahead and hold that in the And put the flock all over it. Be generous because you can always have it back home. Now, one thing you can do, put it over a little bit, and just roll it around, and then if you fold it over again, and just rub it good, or you can put it through your cuddle bug, um, just with a, a flat piece, and that'll also really mash that down into the adhesive. Okay, so then you just rub any excess off with your fingers or thumbs so that um, it has a smooth finish to it. Okay, now I, I wanted to have the little velvet heart, velvet looking heart, and the fun pot in the back one. So, I'll put that aside and clean that up later. Okay, now that we have our velvet heart done, let's go on to the next part. Let's go ahead and adhere the inside piece to the heart. Get it out of the way. Now I just um, I, I have this planned out on my gypsy, so it just cut with the other white piece. But you could also just cut it 
it's probably five by five. All right. Now this piece, before I adhere it, there's a couple things I want to add to it. Um, first of all, I have this uh, Sun Baker's twine that's red and white. Also, I've obviously used a bunch of mine. And I also have this scarlet red um, crinkle ribbon that you can buy it. And that's how I made this pretty border right here. That's how I made this pretty border. So I'm going to show you how to do that first, and then we'll go ahead and do the baker's twine. Now, to do that, you need a strip of, of red that's exactly or close to the width of your white piece. Okay, and I'm going to use my ATG gun. It's really super sticky, so this is perfect for this technique. I'm just going to make sure I get glue all the way down. Okay, if you've missed any spots, especially on the, the very edge, then you'll want to go back and get that and it all sticks really well. Okay, so I'm just going to take a length of this ribbon. And it, the ribbon that you use is important. This is a really soft, crinkly ribbon. It's uh, thinner, more like a fabric, and so it'll, it'll stay in its shape. It'll hold its shape with the adhesive. A thicker ribbon, a satin or a grosgrain, won't work with this technique as well. Okay, so I cut it off so there's a straight edge. I'm going to fold it under and just stick that right down there. Okay, and then, let's see, maybe I'll do it upside down. Who knows? I want to be able to have you see it without my fingers in the way. So, <laughs> Not sure what angle to get so that you can see it. I'm just, I'm just folding it and pushing it down into the adhesive. Fold it, push it down, and it, and you want to make sure it's hanging over that edge. Okay. That means that you didn't even have to get out your sewing machine, and it still looks like it's all gathered and pretty. Now, when you get to the end, I'm going to cut it. Um, Right there. So there's just about oh, a quarter inch hanging over the edge so that I can fold it under again and have that finished, finished edge to it. Okay, so here we go. Super easy. It took like, oh, 10 inches of ribbon. <laughs> Not very much. And what we're going to do is lay some adhesive right on the back of this right on the edge, you want it right on the edge so that it will stick. And then okay, we're going to use the ruffle in to edge it out. And just barely, barely hang on over. So there we go. Now some of the adhesive is still going to show, but that's okay because it's going to be on the card. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is get out the Baker's twine, and I'm going to wrap this double around it. Wrap it around the back again. And cut it. Alright, right. now I've got it wrapped around double, and I'm going to just tie the bow. So this card actually goes together pretty fast, except for at the end we're going to put glossy accents on and it has to dry. But other than that, it goes together pretty fast for uh, considering that there's a ribbon ruffle and all these fancy things. Okay, so then we'll just tighten up the loop. And we'll trim that once we get it on the card so that we can see where we want it. Okay, so now we're ready to adhere this to our card base. Now I want to make sure oops, that this gets stuck onto the card base really well. So I'm going to make sure that gets adhesive. Okay. Check it quick. Alright. It looks like it's all even. Just a little bit that in the center. All right, now we're going to adhere our heart. Put our heart on. 
and we lost the extra. Okay, now you can see on this card I pot dotted this, but the letters are awfully thin. So what I did is I took my almost empty sheet of uh, pocket squares and I just cut some of these little pieces out. And that's good because then I don't waste them. And went ahead and just set those right on the back. Of these letters. Anywhere there is a straight ball, I did that. It was just thin enough for the, the letters. But then we're going to adhere this to the card before we put the glossy accents on them. And I did the same thing with the couple. Let's get some more. I'll use some of the thicker edge pieces for the, for the guy. So I'm going to put their feet right there on the thread so that it gives them, so they look like they're not floating in the air, <laughs> gives them a, a damp floor or a, something to stand on. Okay, so now it's time to trim the bow. I'm going to let go of the thread so we don't about that far. Okay, so super simple card. Now the next step, and you know I love doing the glossy accent. Oh, I did forget. Um, I had decided that this looks a little bit plain right there on the edge. And so I, I did this strip of, of cardstock, the same as the heart. I just uh, went ahead and put that right there. So let's, let's glue that on. We won't, we won't make that one again. We'll just glue it on. I thought that that needed just a little touch of a border. That needed just a touch of a border right there. So, so this matches the heart. I did it exactly the same way. Alright, so I can hardly do a card without using glossy accents. And uh, you could also just uh, do a heat emboss with a clear embossing powder. But I, I like how this makes it look like a, it's, you know, it's dimensional. It makes it look like it uh, is a, um, a puffy sticky. So you're just going to go ahead and make sure everything that's black is covered with the, the dimensional blends of the glossy accent. And and it dries clear. Check it out on the blog. And uh, thanks for watching.